Hi, in this video, we are going to learn how to create password and confirm password validator in Angular Reactive form. I'm very sure you must have come across this requirement when you need to create a password control and then a confirm password control and then match whether value in both those controls are same or not. If not, then so an error message to the user. So we are going to see that in a very step-by-step -step manner that how we can implement that in Angular Reactive form. This video is divided into three parts. First, we create a reactive form. Second, we create password match validator. And third, we apply that validator to the form. So let us get it started. So let us start with creating a reactive form for login functionality. So here you see that what I have done, I have created a variable login form of type form group. Now to create a reactive form for login, we'll say this dot login form is equal to new form group. Now form group takes various form controls inside that. We want an email form control. So we say new form control. Email, let's say that initial value of email is null. And Angular provides you various uh, inbuilt validators which you can apply one or one such validator is required so we say that validators dot required means this email field is a required field and once email is done let's create one more control password so here we say password new form control same null and password is required to validators dot required all right, so here we have created a reactive form for login, which has two controls, email and password. Now on HTML, we would create corresponding form. So here, let's say that form. And inside this form, we are going to say email, input type text. And this form, we use form group property binding and our form name is login form. So let's put it there and say no validate. So this is for email and this form control name should be email. Next, same for password. And then we say that input type is password and then form control name for password field is password. Great. So here we have taken password input type text and then close that. So you see that this login form is matching to this login form for the form form group property. And then email and password controls are matching to corresponding email and password control text boxes in the form. We are also going to put a button here. So we'll say that button and that button is login. And when we click on that button, we say that hit call login function. And here, let's go ahead and create a function called login. And in this function, just print the value of the form. So this dot login form dot value. Great. So when user clicks on this button, this login form would be called. Also, we can disable this. We say that this button is disabled if form is not valid. So from here, let's take this login form and say if it is invalid, then this button is disabled. So, so far what we have done, we created this form here using form group and new form controls. And then we are using that on, it, on the template where using property binding, binding this login form to form and then email and password, this form control is matched. Then created the button in the button, uh, disabling this button if form is invalid. And if form is valid, when you click on this button, login function call get called and this form value is getting printed here so let's go here and say that right now you see that login button is disabled because uh, form is invalid these two controls are required so here we say that a dot a dot com and as soon as we enter password 
this login button is enabled and on click of that you see that you are getting this value here so so far so good we created a login form now we have a requirement to add confirm password control and functionality to this form so let's see that how we can do that so for confirm password uh, first let's add a uh, control here say new again new form control initial value is null and there's no validation in this so confirm password and password and here let's go ahead and create one more control for that and here we are saying that confirm password and then this conf this control name is confirm password and this is type text so here we have added one control to get a confirm password from user now let's go ahead and run this as you see here i say that right now that button is disabled because email and password field is not provided i say that a.a.com and then password abc now this button is enabled now and if user put confirm password xyg still we are allowing user to do that uh, form is not complaining about that and when you click on login you see that here you have this email a dot a and a dot com password abc and confirm password xyg which is not correct and we need to fix that we need to put a validator uh, for that so how we are going to do that so to create the validator what i have done i have added a file called match password dot validator dot ts in the project and in this file let's say const match password equal to this is going to the type of this is going to be a validator function so we'll say validator function and the validator function takes as an input one control of type abstract control and then it returns you either a validator error or a null so here we are saying return null and this syntax is very important and here you can say that you need to use it outside this file so export so you see that what i have done i have created here a function called match password the type of that is validator fn and validator fn is actually a validator function you used to create custom validator in angular and it takes one input parameter of type abstract control and it returns you either validation error or null so this syntax you really need to follow keep in mind once again the type of function is validator fn it takes one input parameter of control of type abstract control and it returns you either validator validation error or null so here if you uh, go to this validator function you can see that it returns you validation errors or null which we are uh, returning from the validators error and null now what we need to do is now is we need to read values of those two controls so we'll say that password equal to control dot get and the control name is password then let confirm password is equal to control dot get and from here you see that this is confirm password control so here we are passing confirm password okay now you need to do the checking whether password dot value if password dot value is not equal to confirm password dot value then we need to return error message so here we'll say return and let's say uh, we say that return password match error as true so here we can return if these two are not same then return password match error true also here we can do one check that whether password exists or not and confirm password exists or not 
All right, so what I have done here, if you look at password and confirm password, and then whether this value is same or not. If they are not same, then we are returning a password match error of type true. Otherwise, we are returning none. So this is the validator, custom validator you have created. Only thing you need to keep in mind that a type of function is validator fn. It takes one input parameter and it returns you a validation error or not. And here you are putting your own business logic. Line number 12 and 13, you are reading those controls and then just putting your business logic to find out whether there is an error or not. All right, so once you have created this validator function, go to app component. And after this, in the form, you say that, hey, validators, you need to put this validator on the form. And here you can say that validators and your validator name is match password. So take it here and put it here, match password. So here I have put that match password as a validator to the form. All right, so in the output now, you can see that here, if I put a at a.com, password is ABC and if I say confirm password something else you see that this button login button is not getting enabled it means uh, our validator is working uh, we have created that validator and applied and that is working if I put here ABC then this login button is enabled and here you in the output you can see that you have your confirm password and password controls contains the same value so we created reactive form, we created the validator. Uh, next, let us see that how we can show an error message to user if this is not matched. So for that, what we do, go to uh, HTML here and let's say that below here, we say that spam password does not match. And this spam should only be displayed star ng if if this login form has login form has error or we can say if login form has errors of type and what is our error name our error name is password match error so here we can go and pass this password match error so if this form has this password match error then so password does not match now let's go ahead to the output here say that a at a.com password is abc and it says that password does not match because here right now space you say rt it is showing you the error message but as soon as you write ABC, that message is gone. Click on login and here you're getting the output. So here we, we apply that using a login form errors and then getting this password match error, passing that to start ng if. All right, so here you created a password and confirm password validator. Uh, step one, you created a reactive form. Step two, you created the validator here, pretty simple. And then you applied validator on the form here and then displaying the error message right here. So in the description of this link, you can find GitHub repository for this project. You can download and uh, play around that. So I hope you find this uh, video useful. Please like, subscribe uh, to this channel. Uh, and also let me know in the comment on which topics you want me to create next videos. So thank you so much for watching this. I hope it is useful. Thank you.